Good morning, everybody. This morning I'm reading Judges 14, verses 1 to 3. Now Samson went down to Timnah and saw a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines. So he went up and told his father and mother, saying, I have seen a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, get her for me as a wife. Then his father and mother said to him, is there no woman among the daughters of your brethren or among all my people that you must go and get a wife from the uncircumcised Philistines? And Samson said to his father, get her for me, for she pleases me well. Is there any sadder character in the Bible than Samson called of God? and separated to him from his mother's womb, given great gifts and ability by the Lord. Who else in the Old Testament can compare with Samson's power? Yet at the same time, he was so pathetically weak. It seems he could slay any number of Philistines, but he seemed unable to control himself and his own lusts to any degree at all. Even in the few verses we have read today, there is no sense that Samson is seeking the Lord to know his will. There is nothing of self-denial. There is no desire to be holy or to obey the Lord. Surely he would have known that the Lord had told Israel not to take wives from other nations so that they would not be corrupted. There is no determination to be the man God had called him to be. Instead, we see a young man who, who is being led by his own desires, desires that could have been rightly directed had he listened to the Lord and even to his own parents. Not Samson. He is sunk by his own lust. He is a slave of sin. Even when he marries the girl, and it all goes wrong. He doesn't learn from his mistake. To be sure, he does yet another mighty and powerful act. He slays heaps upon heaps of Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. In his mind, is he justifying his errant behavior by telling himself he must be okay because God is using him in such a mighty way? But when we see him at the beginning of chapter 16, we see him going into a prostitute. He has actually become worse. He is carrying on in the same utter superficiality. What a great warning God has given us. We should not be impressed with gift or power in our own lives or in the life of anyone else. Godly character is what is important. By his grace, we should seek to develop that. Amen. Have a great day.